I came to Korea in 2001 with the great violinist Kyung Hwa Chung as a member of the Sejong Soloists. It changed my life. Now that I'm celebrating my 10th anniversary here in Korea, I'd like to do the same thing that was given to me, the opportunity to perform on the great Soul Art Center stage. And I have chosen some of the most exciting young talents that I have met uh, to join me in a concert of equals. And I am presenting them here. So please come on March 23rd, 2014. A decade is a very long time, and I cannot believe how quickly it went. Um, of the changes, um, there are so many, both personally and professionally, but I am just so thankful, um, perhaps most of all for what's happened here in Korea. It is just indescribable to me how exciting and rich my life has been here. Um, full of life-changing experiences, both musically, um, socially, and um, I, I always like to think back as a child what would I have thought about and dreamed about as a little kid, um, especially now that I work with children so much, and I would have never guessed that all of these wonderful things would have come my way. So uh, I am just so happy for the last 10 years. I've, I've really grown up in so many ways, and um, I'm looking forward, hopefully, to the next 10 years. For my 10th anniversary, I wanted to look at what I did when I first came to Korea and what I'd like to do um, for the next 10 years. And we've explored many, many different aspects of the viola in the last 10 years, both as a chamber music instrument and as a solo instrument with orchestra and with piano. And so the recital is divided in half. The first half will introduce two works that I am very familiar with, the Tchaikovsky Serenade for Strings and the Penderecki Sinfonietta. Uh, both pieces which I played dozens of times with the Sejong soloists. And I really believe in the program. Uh, the young artists that are joining me are very exciting, young, full of enthusiasm and they remind me a lot of myself um, when I was that age. Um, the second half of the program will feature the Franck Sonata, which is not a viol sonata, of course, it's a violin sonata, but it's a piece that I um, learned very, very um, early on and then put away. And I've always wanted to, um, to revisit that work. And I'm revisiting with a very young uh, pianist named Peter Asimov, the grandnephew of the great Isaac Asimov, who, um, of course, he comes from a very brilliant family, and he too is quite um, brilliant, not just as a pianist, but as a composer. And um, we will be um, concertizing uh, several times in the future, including a recital at the Louvre um, in the upcoming season. And I think Peter and I, um, uh, we, I really enjoy working with Peter, and he's a wonderful young pianist. Last season for Ditto, uh, we had an injury with our, our dear violinist Stefan, and a young boy, Siwoo Kim, came in to save the day. And uh, Siwoo really made a deep impression on me. He is a, a, a wonderful musician, an excellent violinist, and a really wonderfully sweet and responsible young man. And he mentioned to me that he had um, this quartet, he called it the Brotet at the time, but the Quartet Senza Missouri. Um, will be joining us, um, all of the members who I'm very excited about, including the cellist Jay Campbell, who is a Concert Artist Guild winner and phenomenal um, young talent. Um, and uh, it's just going to be a really interesting celebration of, of the older and the younger. In the next 10 years, I'd like to pass on what has been given to me. Um, uh, my management credit has been very generous in its investment with my, um, 
my crazy ideas. And one of my ideas is as you get older, you help bring up the younger generation. So expect to see a lot more collaborations with um, new young talent. And um, I'm gonna start pushing the envelope even more. I, I trust that the people that have followed me this far won't leave me. And I'm hoping that they will trust my programming because it's gonna become more adventurous, both in Ditto and personally. I don't think anywhere else in the world have people encountered the sort of enthusiasm and dedication to uh, classical music as right here in South Korea. Um, many places I go um, over the world, um, all around the world, uh, people come up to me and, and uh, say, Richard, what, what are you doing with Ditto? What are you doing with these recitals? How, how, how do you get all these people to come in the concert halls? And it's very hard to explain, but I really think it's because of the support. You, and you make this possible because I really wouldn't program these concerts if it wasn't for the audience. It's really to build a community of people that love what I love and um, enjoy some of the best stuff we have, music. And I am so grateful for your constant trust and support. And I realize what a commitment it is to come to concerts financially and um, with your time, most of all your time. And that means a lot to me to always look out and see full houses full of enthusiastic people. And um, as the programs have been getting, been getting more, um, more exploratory, I, I, I'm even more appreciative because I realize that these programs anywhere in the world would be a challenge. And I'm so happy that you are coming along all the way. Thank you so much for your support and I will look forward to the next 10 years.